Hello, can you hear me? Hello, good evening. How are you? Okay, we're about to finish. Just let me look for the information here in the platform. Sorry, we are about to begin, not to finish. Okay, here we are, Maximo, thank you for being here. Melissa, Rosemary, Isamar, and yes, we are about to begin. I don't know if you have been working in the platform already. Ya empezaron a trabajar en la plataforma, ya terminaron la sección 3 y el examen, el midterm exam. Or not yet? Not yet. Um, I'm almost finished the section two by now. Okay. okay. Try to uh, finish the section three and the midterm test for tomorrow. If you have any question, any problem, just let me know. Okay. Uh, today we are going to have a little bit uh, a review of relative pronouns. Just let me see here if I can find it. And let's see here, yes. Let me see if I can find something easier for relative pronouns. When, who's... Okay, we are about to begin. Just we're going to wait if someone some uh, someone else is is joining because I guess that some people were not able to make it, right? Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Fine. Okay, did you do the, the homework? Yes. Yes, right. Okay, perfect. So Uh, we are about to begin. Uh, just let me check here. Where you live is very old. Delicious. Yes, I guess that we are going to do this. Just as a review. This is a quiz uh, for relative pronouns. Yesterday we were going to, we were talking about relative pronouns. So we are going to review a little bit of it. Then we are going to check. Um, the information about your homework, right? And also I will give you some tips. I was checking uh, something, but I guess that I will give you the information tomorrow so you won't have any problem with it. So I will share uh, the screen right now. If you have, um, let me check here. Yes, if you have a tablet or if you had uh, your telephone or your computer, You can, um, let me see here. I will share the, right now the screen. This is like a quiz. And you can go to joinmyquiz.com. I will share the, the link in the chat. I will be a listener because I am taking care of my baby. Okay, Wendy, no problem. So you just need to go there 
and you need to enter the code 073192. And you will be able to participate in a test, right? This is just a review of uh, pronouns, right? Relative pronouns. And then after that, what you have to do is just to click on start and your name will appear here. So we are going to wait um, a little bit. If you want to participate, go ahead and do it. And this is about relative pronouns, remember that. Perfect, 073192. Uh. Rosemary, thank you for joining. Teacher, can you please paste the code in the chat also, please? Okay, no problem. I, I, will play, I will paste it. Just let me move it here. And I will paste it here in the chat. Okay, it's there. It's 073192. Thank you. Okay, perfect. So we are about to begin. This is just a quiz, right? You will see different questions. And what you have to do is just to choose the best answer. I know that we have checked only which, that, and who, but probably you are going to see more, right? For example, um, who's or where. So if you believe if that is the answer, try to choose it, okay? And then uh, we're going to have a little review about that if you have any question. And then we're going to go with the homework. Let's see here. Let me see. Okay, we're going to start. <laughs> I gave you a book, it had many pictures. Which one is the correct? I gave you a book which had many, I gave you a book that had many pictures. Let's see. Very good, it's 07319, very good, perfect. Next one. I am reading a book at the moment, period. It is very interesting. If we join in, which is the best one? Okay, let's see. I'm a kibofi. <laughs> you got it wrong. Okay, nobody got it correct. Okay, we are going to review that right now. It was, I am reading a book at the moment, which is very interesting. Let's see, next one. You live in a town, the town is very old. Okay, time's up. Let's see. Very good, Melissa and Rosemary, very good. It was the town where you live is very odd, where you live, donde vives, right? Very good. Next one.
The sweets are delicious. I bought them yesterday. The sweets are delicious already. Choose the best option. Okay, let's see. Melissa, very good. Rosemary and 073192. Very good. Good night, everybody. Good evening, Jose Moises. Very good. Now we're, we're playing right now about relative pronouns. Let's see next question. The football match was very exciting. My friend played in it. Okay, let's see the answer. Okay, nobody had any. Yes, yes, you had some points. The football match that my friend played in was very exciting. The football match that my, pray, my friend played in was very exciting. Next one. The letter hasn't arrived yet. I posted it three days ago. I can't know. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay, very good, Melissa. It's the letter which I posted three days ago hasn't arrived yet. Perfect. Next one. He lives in a house. The house is not very big. That was tricky. <laughs> okay, time's up. Let's I see. almost made a mistake in that one. You almost, right? Very good, Melissa, Rosemary, and 073192. Next one. Let's see. Let's see who wins. They are playing a, a song on the radio. Do you like it? Very good. Perfect. Do you like the song which they are playing on the radio? Perfect. That was a question. It was tricky. Next one. Jane wore a beautiful shirt yesterday. Did you see it? Time's up. Let's see. Very good. Melissa is on top again. And the answer was, did you see the beautiful shirt which Jane wore yesterday? Next one. Sue is going out with a boy. I don't like him.
Okay, let's see. Very good. Next, uh, the answer was Sue is going out with a boy who I don't like. Next one. A, man, a monk is a man. The man has devoted his life to God. Okay, very good. Almost the same. A monk is a man who has devoted his life to God. Next one. I have one black cat. His name is Blackie. Okay, time's up. Very good. I have one black cat whose name is Blackie. Next one. A herbivore is an animal. The animal feeds upon vegetation. Okay, it says a herbivore is an animal which feeds upon vegetation. Perfect. Next one. We almost finish. Ya casi terminamos. Carol plays the piano brilliantly. He is only nine years old. Okay, Carol, who is only nine years old, plays the piano rhythmically. And I guess that the second one is, is okay also. But anyway, let's see. Sydney is the largest Australian city. It is not the capital of Australia. Yes, it's the second one, right? Sydney, which is not the capital of Australia, is the largest Australian city. Let's see. Iowa is a state in the United States of America. I live in Iowa. Yes, the answer was Iowa is a state of the United States of America where I live in. Perfect. Erica came to my house yesterday. Her sister is my girlfriend.
perfect. It was uh, Erica, whose sister is my girlfriend, came to my house yesterday. Whose sister is de quien la hermana es mi novia, vino ayer uh, a mi casa ayer, ¿verdad? De quien, whose. Very good. Let's see next one. This report was written by Arthur. This report was in my test. It was the last one, the report, which was in my test, was written by Arthur. They kind of difficult, right? I understand. But we are only left three. Solo tres nos quedan. A pacifist is a person. A pacifist believes that all wars are wrong. Very good. A pacifist is a person who believes that all wars are wrong. Only two left. This is the suitcase. His owner was the tall man he saw we saw yesterday. Let's see. Very good. This this is the suitcase whose owner was the tall man we saw yesterday. And I guess this is the last one. Edinburgh is the capital of Scotland. I was born in Edinburgh. Okay, Edinburgh where, well, Edinburgh, where I was born, is the capital of Scotland. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Let's see who won. Okay, we're going to check the summary. Rosemary, third place, 073192, second place, and Melissa was the first place. Very good. Very well done. Uh, well done. Um, actually, it was kind of confusing, like the, the questions, right? But... Um, it was it was kind of confusing actually for me also, but you did it very well, very good. You have one point for the final test. Perfect. So now we're going to continue. Uh, remember that if uh if you have any question about the teacher the... and that yes. number, uh, I'm that number zero seven three one nine two. I don't know why is my name on the number you are the number also well in the play you uh -huh, say the that uh, I, uh -huh. I don't know why you say that this was the the password right yes that was the the, the code to access well, <laughs> well <laughs> i don't know you were playing <laughs> twice See? you were playing twice okay Okay, so you had the third and the second place. Very good. Perfect. Oh, so, I'm the second place. I don't know who is um, it. 
third? Ah, you're the second place. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm, I guess it was Rosemary, right? No? Melissa is the one who won, right? But somebody yeah. else was playing. Okay. But no problem. Probably it was a ghost. Okay, but no problem. Uh, we are going to continue. Uh, right now, uh, did you have any question? Did you find did you find it uh, difficult or easy this game? In Was some questions, it's kind of difficult because are very similar. The answer you have yes. to read twice to check the correct one. Exactly, you have to read twice, right? And also the time was running, right? So you have to hurry up. Yes, but it, it was kind of difficult. Actually, I found it very, very difficult because uh, it can be uh, different options, right? Were, were really similar. So uh, right now, as a homework, I told you to write a review. Yesterday, we had a lot of, a lot of examples, right? We had this review. Also, we have some uh, critic reviews of listening and also, uh, we check different genres, vocabulary, and I ask you to use relative clauses also, besides the vocabulary that we have uh, written or we have studied before. So uh, who wants to begin with the presentation, with the movie review? Who wants to begin? Volunteers? Voluntarios. No one? Nobody did the review? Nadie hizo la, la crítica de la película? Yes. Yes, right. You did it, Rina. Are you going to present something? Did you, did, you, uh, did you bring pictures or anything? Yes. Some, uh... Okay, I will stop sharing my screen. And if you want to, you can share yours. It says, sorry, teacher, I didn't. Okay, Jose Moises, no problem. Okay. Okay, very good. Mm, well, my movie is Pirates of the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. It's a saga of five movies. The type is fantasy. The principal actor is Johnny Depp. He plays as Captain Jack Sparrow. I can't imagine another actor role in this movie. Johnny Depp is an amazing, on it's amazing, is amazing on his performance. Mm -hmm. The first one is the course of the black, the course of the black pearl, mm -hmm. where it's a mix of a love history, adventure, ghost, and of course of and of course pirates. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth Swan and William Turner have an incredible story of love. Have an incredible story of fantasy and love. Captain Barbosa tries to get his mortal life back with all his crew and Captain Jack Sparrow just won the ship Pearl Black and the treasure Azteca. But in the middle of the chaos, Captain Sparrow share a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, the second one is Dead Man Chest. This one has more adventure, more fun, and some situations that make you feel anxious. Elizabeth and William were getting married when suddenly they get arrested. Captain Sparrow has to play to the devil Davy Jones, a death, but he used William to pay it. And there are other ones, but I just read for the, the first two ones. Okay, the first two. Perfect. First two. And uh, why do you like these movies? Like, why would you recommend these movies? Because you can get a lot of fun and 
you can get a lot of fun and it's kind of, it's not like the usual kind of movie deal of romantic. It has some romantic uh, parts, but not all the movie. Mm -hmm. And I like very much how Johnny Depp plays the role. It's an amazing actor for me. Okay, very good, perfect. And uh, how many stars from, or how many points from one to five or from one to 10 do you give this movie? 10. 10, right? Ten. Okay, very yeah. good, 10. Yeah, actually the, the movie is really good. I watched it a long time ago and I want to watch it again. And it's a lot of fun. Actually, the first time that I watched it was, I was surprised and actually, uh, as you said, it's a lot of fun. And Johnny Depp is like still the, the, the story, right? Really good. Perfect. Thank you. Really good. Another person, alguien más que haya hecho el, uh, el review? Somebody else? Sonia. Okay, did you bring pictures, Sonia? Yes, only the picture. Okay, you can share the screen if you want to. Okay, uh, the movie is Me Before You. Mm -hmm. uh, it's about Lisa Clark. It's cute, extrovert, and extravagant. Uh, she's 26 years old, who works in a cafe to help her family. Okay. Her family. Um, she has a boyfriend. She has a boyfriend named Pratik, uh, mm -hmm. with whom she is no longer so in love. So he's more focused on his sport. So mm -hmm. she ends. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's a fin de la presentación. <laughs> eh, no sé qué pasa con la presentación, ahora no la pude colocar. Ok, eh, sigo, perdón. Um, ok. Eh, so she, she ends her relationship, him, Will Tynor is a successful business who is become a quadriplegic after an accident. After losing her, her job, Luisa, is hired by John Jungle, Will's parents, to help him not, not end his life, and a word that that he will change his own. Uh, I like the love story because it's different signs they have nothing in common. I was fascinated fascinated with the story. I didn't okay. like. Mm -hmm. uh, is the final final song because Will Tynor died and Louisa read the last letter that he wrote to her. Next, she stand up and start walking. Then the end the movie. In my mind, what happened? This is not <laughs> the ending I expect. <laughs> and in my opinion, the performance was fantastic. In oh, my okay. In my reading is eight. Eight. So you give yes. it a, a, an eight, but you didn't like the end. I'm sorry. You didn't like. You didn't like the end. No, I don't like the end. The old movie, yes, but the end, no. Why? Because is is it sad, or you thought that they were going to end up together? Mm, the 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 fun. Yes, uh, so you thought that they were going to end up together? Uh, I don't like 
because um, nos aburrido eh, fue aburrido al final it was boring al final sí aburrido okay so you, uh, probably you were expecting that he was going to leave because at the end he dies right al final se muere spoiler yes. right yes. but <laughs> spoiler but uh, probably you thought that they were going to end up together and happy and everything yes. yeah actually actually it is a good movie I watched it also and I think that well they, they at the end he decides to end his life because he no longer likes to live right so that that was a problem even though that uh, he met uh, this uh, wonderful woman right mm -hmm. um but it, it is good actually it was a good movie very good it, it yes. is like an eight as you said very good very good sonia Thanks. somebody else alguien más Somebody else? Nobody else? I'm making sure. Okay. Uh, did you bring pictures? Um, mi presentación me iba a ayudar a, a transmitir la Sonia porque yo soy de un teléfono. Pero si ya no la puedo transmitir, no creo que pueda transmitir la mía. Really? <laughs> well, try, try. Let's see if you are able to. Okay, what is the movie that you're going to talk about? Uh, the, the Power of the Cross. The Power of Love? Of the Cross. Of the Dog. The Power of the Dog. Cross. Truth. Frog? The Power of the Cross. Cross. How do you spell it? Sí, me escuchan. Sí, ¿cómo se lo deletrea? Uh, P C R O -E S. P R O. Sí. Um, ahí está. The power of the. Right. Yep. Yeah, because I have the power of the dog, the power of the mind, the power of the sun. The power of the cross. Of the cross. Yes. El poder de la cruz. Yes. Oh, okay. The power of the cross. And that yes. is a religious movie? Uh, yes, Christian. A Christian yes. movie. Yes. Okay. Okay, very good. Uh, talk to us about that movie that you like. Um... The movie in a way that life was for people who lie in the same city and they for a way to overcome the conflict. The term is saying it all changed when they learn about the Christian faith, but not that the one is willing to believe. I really like how this movie because it teaches just to have more faith in that. And it shows this real life faith. He teaches us uh, to understand people better because everyone has gone through different problems. Even if they don't show, we will show to be dead every the day. Mm, personally, I really like this Christian drama movie. It has very good performance. I will write to that thing. It was very interesting and the performance of the young man really was beautiful and her also her intelligence. Okay, the power of the cross. Okay, mm -hmm. and I, I've never watched it, right? Because it, sometimes religious movies are not very popular, but um, I believe that I would buy, watch it, right? Because you said that it's good, right? And also it talks about a faith and how people overcome conflicts, right? And you give it a 10. Okay, very good. Very good. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Rosemary. I will okay. watch the movie and let's see. I will I will give you my opinion. Okay, perfect. 
somebody else, alguien más, besides Rosemary, Rina, Sonia. I already, I already participated, teacher. Yes, yes, uh, I, I said besides, alguien más, además de, verdad, además de Rina, Rosemary, alguien más? Nobody else? Okay, perfect. So, uh, try to uh, watch movies me, in English. Teacher. Who said me? Melissa, so, so just uh, allow me to join me from the computer. Okay, no problem. Okay. Okay, we're going to wait for Melissa because he's going to perform or he is going to present her movie. Okay, Melissa, were you able to, oh, yes. Yeah, but in the computer, I don't have any mic, so I I will share with you like that, okay? Okay, no problem. Okay, I don't know if I, you are able to see my, my screen. Yes, we can see it. Okay, for me. Sorry, because I'm not so good at uh, sharing. Okay, no problem. We we can see it. Okay, the movie that um, I'm going to talk about is Clueless. And I didn't find Clueless uh, with a nice uh, animation, but in mm -hmm. Spanish it's ni idea. Mm -hmm. This is a, a cool classic movie. Um, I'm not ashamed to admit that I love this movie <laughs> because mm -hmm. it's one of my favorites. Uh, also, maybe the thing the people can think they silly, but it for me is one of the best teen movies ever, and it was made in the '90s, so it's one of my favorites. Um, the the actress, uh, Lisa Silverstone. Mm -hmm. Is um one of the uh, for me, it was a a great um a great actress. She was perfect for this movie because you can can imagine anyone better than her for his for her role. She's so gorgeous. She's very interesting, and is so elegant in the movie and also in the real life. Um, and the story at the beginning of the movie she's kind of selfish girl and her her only interest includes clothes credit cards and shopping at the film progress she begins to become so mature and actually 
begins to care about the other people. Mm -hmm. And for example, another great acting was about, uh, was the role of Pearl Root is in the movie. It's like her boyfriend who he, he is also the actor and uh, the principal actor in the in the movie in the movie Ant Man for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Mm -hmm. And the story is very interesting. The for me the music was great. The cast uh, there are many of the stars. They later become uh, big actors. And at the ending of the story is a little bit weird, but confirmed that she was totally clueless. And it's a really feel good movie. Very funny and very entertaining. Okay, very good. Perfect. Very good review. Very good review. I liked it a lot because you use a lot of vocabulary and also new vocabulary. As It's a feel good movie, right? A feel good movie. And how much do you give this movie, Melissa, from one to 10? Um, I think it is not a big, a big performance like Titanic, but I think <laughs> that movie deserves a four because it you really enjoy and have a really good fun seeing this movie. It's four for the stars. Okay, very good. Yeah, actually, it is a, a really good movie, and it is it became a classic, right? You never know what is going to become a classic. Uh, probably they didn't know, uh, uh, but it's it's a good movie. And actually, uh, the uh, '90s kid, we are growing seeing this kind of movies. <laughs> yes, exactly. I watch it in Canal Seis, right? With Estren, right? <laughs> but I didn't know <laughs> yeah, anything know. about that. And it's now it became from three years ago. <laughs> three years ago, exactly. But I didn't know about anything about the movie, and and uh, yes, actually, I liked it. It was really fun, actually. Very good, very good movie. Uh, another person, alguien más que quiera presentar el movie review. Somebody else? Nobody. Okay, no problem. Very good, you did a very good job, Melissa, Rosemary. Um, also, Sonia, I guess that uh, did the performance, right? Did, did the presentation. Uh, very good movies, all of all of you. Um, let's see here. Some feedback, okay? Uh, un poco de retroalimentación about the movies, right? So, Actually, you did a good job because you were able to express your ideas and everything. Uh, but there are some words that it's always like kind of complicated to r write a great review or uh, some extensive text without making mistakes. But uh, we are going to be better if we pay attention just uh, to these things, right? Because there are kind of differences. So we have... Um, of course, right. Of course. Of course. We have of course and curse, right? Curse. The cursed, right? So, la maldición, podríamos decir aquí, the curse, está maldito algo, right? Pero of course is, por supuesto, right? Of course, that is the expression, right? Um... Let's see here. This is a complicated word. Esta es una palabra complicada. So let me look for it. So I won't give you any false. For me, it's like this. Quadra. Quadraplegic. Yes, quadraplegic. Quadraplegic, quadraplegic. It is like this, Qua, quadriplegic, right? Quadriplegic. That is a very uh, complex um, word. So quadriplegic, it is like that, right? Uh, also, boss, boss and busy, right? Busy. Busy, I am busy, right? Estoy ocupado. Um, and boss is el jefe, boss, right? Boss and busy. Let's see here, what else? 
Ah, oh, there is a uh, something different. It's history or story. Which one? Story. Sorry. Which one is the one? What is the difference between history and story? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? I what is? Think, uh -huh. I think story is a fiction and history is something that happened in the world. Exactly, very good. So history is Cristobal Colón, right? Christopher Columbus, uh, Independence Day. History is a revolution, the French Revolution, right? That's history. And a story is, I will tell you story, right? Do you know what? I will tell you story. So if I want to say something about a story, it's like the story of this movie, the story. Uh, si es una película de historia, it's a historical movie, ¿verdad? Es una película de como esta película, this is really famous movie, a Pride and Prejudice. So that is a historical movie, right? Because it is in the 1800s, in los 1800s, right? It's a historical movie. But it's about history. History, historia, de antes, ¿verdad? It's story, is historia de una, y te voy a contar una historia, o esta historia es interesante. This, this story is interesting. That is the difference. And also, uh, let's remember the, um, the, this is kind of complicated because we don't have that rule in Spanish and I understand that it's kind of basic, but the third person singular, right? Third, sorry, third person singular. For example, he shares. He shares. Uh, the film progresses. Progresses. So as we can see here, we have an S, right? ¿Por qué le ponemos la S ahí? Why do we place an S there? or an ES in this case, right? ¿Por qué le ponemos aquí una S? Why do we place an A, uh, an S? I think it's for the third person. Exactly, third person singular. It is difficult because sometimes we make this mistake. We know, probably we know the rule. Tal vez si sabemos la regla. But sometimes when we are writing or when we are speaking really fast, we say, he share, right? Or the film progress. Or he buy. Or he walk. Uh, she talk, right? And we miss the S. Se nos pierde la S, se nos va la S. So we try try to remember that. If you have problems with that, Try to practice it, writing it, saying many, many, many words or many sentences like that in third person singular, and you will be you will be able to to memorize it, right? Or or to make it part of your speech. So very good. That that that's the only thing. As you can see, you talked a lot, hablaron bastante, and those were some mistakes that I I I checked. But it is really, really small and it's understandable because it's really uh, difficult, the pronunciation or the words, right? But it was really good, really good presentation. So to finish, uh, we're going just to review um, just the relative pronouns again, right? Just to finish, just in case that you have any any question about this, about that. It says we use relative pronouns to introduce relative clauses, right? We know that is a relative clause and a relative pronoun and relative clauses tell us more about people and uh, things. It says Zoe Saldana is an American actress who that is well known for her role in the movie Avatar. And Super Mario Kart is popular, is a popular game, which that was released in 1992. What is the difference between who and which and that? When do we use it? ¿Cuándo los podemos utilizar? Uh, 
over there we have two examples. So when do we use it? Like when do we use who, for example? I think we use who mm -hmm. when the sentence is about persons. Exactly. People. When we're talking about people, right? Zoe Saldana is an American actress who is well known for her role in the movie Avatar. Zoe Saldana is una actriz americana quien es bien conocida por su película de Avatar. And which, when do we use which? Or for what do we use which? Who knows? Para que ocupamos which? Who knows that? We we use which for things. Exactly. We use which for things, right? For example, Super Mario Kart. It's a video game. It's a popular, popular game. So we're talking about the game. The game which was released in 1992. And we can use that for a people and for things, right? In case that we don't know, we can use that, right? Perfect. So as you can, as you already said, who and that is for people, right? Juan Luis Guerra is a great singer. He can play the guitar and the piano. But if we use a relative pronoun, Juan Luis Guerra is a great singer who or that can play the guitar and the piano. We have the second example. Cardi B is a rapper. She appeared on a reality show. Cardi B is a rapper who or that appeared on a reality show. I want to meet Scarlett Johansson. She is my favorite actress. I want to meet Scarlett Johansson, comma, who is my favorite actress. Perfect. And which and that is for things and animals, right? Also, the Mona Lisa is an Italian painting, period. It was painted by, by Leonardo da Vinci. The Mona Lisa is an Italian painting, which or that was painted by Leonardo da Vinci. The Simpson is a TV show. It has more than 30 seasons. The Simpsons is a TV show, which or that has more than 30 seasons. Many people prefer to watch movies on Netflix, which is a streaming platform with lots of great movies. Okay. And this is about the clauses, right? But I guess that we are going to uh, study this uh, tomorrow. Yes, we are going to study this tomorrow and we are going to start the new, the new unit, the section three, we have section four, right? Section four. So we are going to start section four tomorrow. So I don't miss the class. Tomorrow we are going to have classes, okay? So um, please be present and also try to work in, um, in, the, in, in the platform. If you finish section two, you can continue with section three and the midterm exam. For tomorrow, you have to finish that. And also um, tomorrow I will investigate. Uh, I didn't show you that information today because I'm not sure how to use it or, and I don't want to give you wrong information, but we are going to talk or we are going to check how to, how we can learn English using platforms like this one, like Netflix, for example, or YouTube. Uh, the first recommendation, if you have it, is to set up everything in English, right? To practice English. Uh, you can change the language over there in the platform um, and you can change it to in English, right? For example, here it says comedies, documentaries, Colombian movies and TV, US TV shows. So as you can see, we have a lot of uh, new vocabulary, right? new releases, right? So what is new releases? All oh, the new things that we are uh, seeing here and also all, all of the titles will change into into English, right? For example, Downton Abbey, Her, um, inspiring movies, popular, 
uh, children and family, international movies. But I will show you tomorrow another thing to learn English besides changing the subtitles and things like that. I just need to investigate a little bit more about that. And if you want to, you can use it. And if you don't want to, you can leave it like that, right? Just listening and reading subtitles. That's okay. That's also helpful. So I don't know if you have any other question, Edio, any other doubt? Preguntas acerca de la clase de hoy? No questions? Okay. So I will see you tomorrow. Congratulations for your great presentation. It was a really good presentation. Claps for you. And I will see you tomorrow, okay? Have a nice night and take care. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night.